It is the 3rd of the 12th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start off on SOP.net. U.S. violent windstorm leaves path of destruction for second day. Some 270,000 homes and businesses remained without power for a second day on Friday after powerful winds toppled trees and power lines and left debris across a wide swath of Southern California. The fierce gusts that tore across western states Thursday created a path of destruction that closed schools and prompted some communities to declare emergencies. And the storm is still ongoing. Uh, and that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Uh, drums of war. Analysts fear New India. China killer nuclear missile may ignite arms race in South Asia. Mud volcano in Taiwan expels mud up to two meters deep. Wandan Mud Dome, one of Taiwan's 17 active mud volcanoes, erupted early Friday after nearly a year of inactivity, spilling mud flows up to two meters high. Uh, up to noon Friday, hot gray mud was still spewing from the volcano, and residents could be seen lighting fires nearby to burn off gas as emitted by the volcano. And uh, superstorms to pound regions of northern Europe. Climatology, there are several indications, indicators that qualify the climate anomalies of pressure, wind and temperatures in some reason. In some regions, uh, these anomaly, anomalies are associated with natural uh, oscillations whose frequ frequency can vary from several months to several decades and sometimes almost a century. Uh, these are natural variability who are responsible for changing climate as it's wrongly described in most media. The climate has indeed never been stable in the past. It went through phases of warming and then by cooling phases. Since the beginning of this fall, the temperatures of the atmosphere and the stratosphere began to fall over the North Pole. Uh, this discrete, this, dec this discrete de decrease is quite unusual for the season as well as the polar vortex weakening this summer. Then reforms in the winter as sun's influence is diminishing. However, the current temperatures have gone below the average climate, indicating a strong enhancement of the vortex. It is customary to qualify the intensity and strength, uh, where to go, strengthening of polar vortex by a clim climatic index called Arctic Oscillation, uh, which, which measures the pressure difference between Greenland and the middle latitudes. And the story continues. Seattle Airport records highest atmospheric pressure reading ever. The highest atmospheric pressure re ever recorded at SeaTac Airport was recorded Wednesday night. KIRO7 Chief Meteorologist uh, reports at midnight the barometer hit 1,043.4 millibars, breaking the previous record of 1,043.0 set on January 28, 1949. Anti-cyclonic systems, now they've got story on the Lando Canes, basically we're calling them Asm atmospheric pressure, is the force per unit area ex exerted into the surface by the weight of air above that surface in the planet's atmosphere. A high pressure area is a region where the atmospheric pressure at the surface of the planet is greater than the surrounding environment. Winds within high pressure areas flow outward due to the higher density air near the center of the friction with land. Resulting weather system is called an anticyclone. An anticyclone, which is the opposite to a cyclone, is a weather phenomenon defined by the United States National Weather Service glossary as a large scale circulation of winds around a central region of high atmospheric pressure, clockwise in the northern hemisphere, counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. And uh, these are what we call the Lando Canes. Seismic unrest continues to build at Iceland's Katla volcano. A huge Icelandic volcano long overdue an eruption is showing signs of activity, threatening disruption of air traffic, experts have said. There have been more than 500 tremors at Katla in the south of the country just this last month. An increasing in activity at the site since July also has been causing volcanologists concerns. When the increasing temperatures and seismic activity cause a flood, washing away a road bridge. 
The last major eruption at the volcano was in 1918 and caused such a large glacier meltdown that the icebergs were swept by resulting floods into the ocean. And uh, that was the year they called a uh, year without a summer. Strong winds whipped through New Mexico, leaving power outages. Uh, strong winds sweeping through across North New Mexico have resulted in scattered power outages, difficult driving conditions, and roof damage that ended classes early at one uh, county school. And they're expected to continue into Thursday evening, which was yesterday. And, of course, they've got the, the economy stuff. Uh, over to the watchers. Uh, we've got no hope for Phobos Grump spacecraft re-entry in mid-January. Excuse me. The European Space Agency announced on December 2nd that it will stop trying to contact the stranded Russian Phobos Grump spacecraft, which has been stuck in the wrong orbit for almost a month now. So it looks like it will fall to Earth. A Russia's Phobos Grump probe launched November 8th on a mission to collect and return samples from the Mars moon Phobos, but the spacecraft thrusters malfunctioned shortly after launch, leaving it stuck in low orbit. And again, they're calling for uh, re-entry right around uh, January 15th for some reason. Well, they got the massive sinkhole story in Oklahoma, you know, the one that could swallow a small house. Santa Ana winds damage whipped through Southern California Wednesday night with peak gusts of up to 167 miles an hour. That's 270 kilometers an hour. Wind gusts stronger than 140 miles an hour, which could be equivalent to a Category 4 hurricane, have been measured on the Sierra Coast mountain range, according to the National Weather Service. Strong winds also blow through some areas of Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico early on Friday. Um, and severe depletion of Texas groundwater. The drought continues. A record-breaking drought in Texas has fueled wildfires, decimated crops, and forced the sale of cattle herds. Has also reduced the levels of groundwater to the low lowest levels in observed in more than 63 years. The groundwater is moisture trapped in pores in the soil and underground gaps of rock, often known as aquifers. At the end of November 2011, groundwater supplies were extremely depleted in more than half of Texas, as well as parts of New Mexico. And that's about all they have new tonight. A real quick over to the RSOE. Of course, they have the volcanic activity in uh, Ecuador and Colombia. Uh, forest fires still in uh, Western Australia on the grid and where was that other one uh... got a big drought on the on the danube river basin hungary serbia bulgaria and romania um, to say the river levels are so low that the barges are stuck and uh... they can't move traffic is pretty much non-existent um, so they're losing their crops and uh... they're not able to uh... do their normal commerce due to this flooding extreme flooding and that is about all I have um, climate change-wise tonight. Let's go over to the nuclear stuff. I'm just going to read the headlines off of e, &E News. Uh, CBS Animation, Fukushima much worse than we thought. If fuel burned through, no one knows how far it would have spread. And they have a video. Nuclear experts, we have to be prepared for the worst case scenario. 5 to 10 meter barrier must be installed beneath the Fukushima reactors. Yeah, right, how are they going to do that? Russia's tasks. Fukushima is falling apart. The Guardian. Melted fuel has probably completely destroyed the protective concrete cover. Out of the Guardian, TEPCO now says concrete could have been penetrated. Fukushima may have narrowly averted China syndrome. And Bloomberg, Bloomberg helps TEPCO reminds them it was the quake that damaged the reactor and caused the radiation to leak before the tsunami hit. And uh, Manichi government session reveals 400,000 times normal radioactive xenon-133 levels in Chiba. Actual figures may be much higher. And another story again, TEPCO studies says spent fuel in reactor number 4 narrowly avoided being exposed after claiming melted fuel stopped just short of burning through containment. 
And a story out of Reuters. Fukushima Chernobyl show how vast areas can be turned into nuclear wastelands. Of course. Well, that's about all I have for you tonight. Again, tonight, uh, the background is pretty much 40 um, counts per minute on my uh, detector. So, uh, just remember to have fun today. Enjoy what you can, everybody.